unbeatable souls in our hearts. They bowed their heads for 21 seconds of silence before the game. One Mississippi for each of the deceased. Their friends, their teachers, their children. A prayer from the living. From all 5,000 souls in Uvalde's Honey Bowl Stadium. Here come the Coyotes! Senior linebacker Justin Rendon came onto the field wearing his new number, 21, given in honor of those whose lives had been taken, voted by his teammates, as high an honor as he'll achieve in life no matter how many decades stretch out before him. The 1972 state champions were at the game as well. A little older, a little grayer now, 50 years past that glorious fall when they went 15 and 0. Local heroes, men who carried a message in a bottle, that the hard work of practicing and playing the game of football, the responsibility of bringing a town, state, and nation together will be remembered just as the 2022 Coyotes will never ever be forgotten. They took the field and played for four quarters and with 36 seconds left found themselves tied 28 to 28. Then senior running back Jonathan Jimenez did this. The handoff is going to Jonathan Jimenez who doesn't get to turn the corner. No, he's coming back. He's coming back. How did he break out of that pile? He's out of the 40, the 35, the 30. Mays he's is inside he's running out of gas. He's out of bounds at the 10-yard oh. line with 17 seconds on the clock. You have got to be kidding me. Then senior receiver Devin Franklin did this. 17 seconds remaining. Can they pull off this incredible victory? And into the end zone they go. And what a God! Touchdown, you fouled him. That was perfect. I mean, the guys, we weren't giving up because we know we got those 21 angels always on our backs. The crowd cheered these young men, young men who had kept the faith, young men who claimed a victory that seemed out of reach, young men who reminded us that, even in the most painful and darkest of times, light comes in the morning.